Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to the 3 at Moon live stream. It's Thursday, May 2nd, and we are diving into something different. I've gone completely bananas, and I'm going to showcase a bunch of retro Donkey Kong games. Not necessarily Donkey Kong Country, but maybe Donkey Kong Country. But we're going to play a whole bunch of different retro Donkey Kong games, or games featuring DK. Uh, probably leaning more towards the handheld games. And the first one I'm going to play is actually on the Super Nintendo, but it's a homebrew. This is not an official game. This is a essentially a homebrew remake called Classic Kong Complete on the Super Nintendo. Now this is the original arcade Donkey Kong levels. Uh, almost You could think of it almost like a remake of the NES Donkey Kong, but it does have some of the extra levels that you might see in the arcade version. Um, so we're going to start off with that one just to begin with. And if you are watching live on twitch.tv slash 3up underscore moon, Thanks for joining. Hope you had a good Thursday. And if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, I hope you also had a good day. Whenever you're watching this, we upload every single one of my live streams in full up on my YouTube channel. So if you're not following me on YouTube, go ahead and do that. And uh, feel free to browse and check out some of the other, uh, the other types of streams that we do. I'm a big fan of revisiting retro games and doing uh, showcasing showcasing games and kind of themed streams like this, but I also like doing our Retro Roulette stream. Uh, it's a series we've been doing for the last three years since we started the channel, and I've curated a bunch of lists of themed retro games where we do space and, and uh, alien themed games, for example, or food and cooking and eating themed games, and people can spin the wheel, anyone watching, and whenever the wheel's spun, I have to stop what I'm playing and play something else. Those are a lot of fun. Um, I also love randomizer challenges and chaos mode challenges. So anytime there's a ROM hack of a game that's just more chaotic than usual, or a mod that shuffles around the enemies and elements of a level, uh, I'm all for it. Um, as a musician, I'm all for improvisation that way. I'm diving into things uh, in a really improv way. So it kind of translated to my streams. And speaking of, What's playing right now is a remix of a Boards of Canada song done by myself as Bass Inspector. This is Ready Let's Go, the Bass Inspector remix of Boards of Canada. One of my favorite electronic musicians uh, or groups and also one of my biggest inspirations, I would say, when I first started making ambient music next to Brian Eno, Biosphere, Orbital. Aphex Twin, Autecker. That's kind of my holy grail list for when I started getting into electronic stuff. And this is a very different take on Ready Let's Go. So we'll listen to this and a few other tracks, and then we'll dive into Classic Kong Complete, our first Donkey Kong themed game.
I'm also just going to take a moment to also say when I'm not live here on Twitch, I'm usually live in my Discord. The link is in the top of my YouTube and Twitch channels, and it is in the chat now if you'd like to join.
Here we go. I don't know how high can we get. <clears throat> so as I mentioned earlier, this is essentially a homebrew where someone remade Donkey Kong trying to recreate all the arcade levels as well on the Super Nintendo. Pretty neat. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn up the game audio just a touch. Is the game audio too loud now? It's nice to meet me and not nice to eat me, you know what I'm saying? It's not TK Pendence Day, but we're <clears throat> still celebrating the con. There's actually one person that follows this category on Twitch. It better be the person who made it.
<clears throat> Great. Let's try that again. He better. <clears throat> if he does, he's gonna find out that I use the the name Three Up Moon as my channel and just instantly shut me down, and then make me print money for him. I don't understand how I'm gonna do it, but that's just that's just what Nintendo do. Nintendo do what Nintendo do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I know what you're saying. We might have to do this a couple times from the top. Now, this is actually rebuilt, whoever put this together. It doesn't really feel the same as playing the NES one. Let's see? See? I guess I could just save it right before or right after this cutscene, just to make it that much easier. <laughs> There's nobody new in on Twitch anymore. It's just bots and whoever was here before the bot apocalypse happened. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? No new users. the thing. Whoop. Oh, you just had to get to the top? So we almost beat it last time then. We were very close. Many times. LinkedIn and linked out. 100 M's? That's a lot of M's. Maybe too many M's. Let's 
pretty cool little extra animations they added into. I'll take that. I want it. <clears throat> well, start it again. We're going to be corgi sitting for our good friends this weekend. So tomorrow we get a corgi delivery. Our friend's corgi, Archie. The best way I could describe him is he's a rascal. Spoiled rascal. They're low riders, it's true. I'm gonna tape them up to him. So you can clean our floors when he's here. <laughs> That's how you corgi sit. It's like a natural Roomba. Sweet, you can still avoid. No! <laughs> I was like, you can still avoid getting getting hit by the barrels here. But then we got crushed. Crushed! We're just on the second loop, but we're not doing good. Doesn't even look like anything's loading. There we go. Like I said, it does feel a little bit different from original DK. I was there, I just faced the wrong way. I turned away from the Kong and I shouldn't have.
Great. Oh no. <sighs> it feels tougher than if I was playing like Donkey Kong Classics, for example. On the old Nintendo. The Nintendo. So is this your weekend then? See? Whoa. The Z weekend? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Saturday, nice. It's just a d another day that I woke up and I'm still alive, so that's pretty cool. second here <clears throat> that's pretty cool
We'll get there. Clean, clean, clean. Why does it keep doing that? I totally saved. It keeps still resetting me here. This is dumb as hell. <laughs> I saved after this. I saved after it all. This is just cruel. Welcome in, Commander Grey Fox. This is a homebrew game. So basically, it's on Super Nintendo. It's a Super Nintendo game that someone put together. But they tried to recreate arcade Donkey Kong. It doesn't really feel like uh, Donkey Kong Classics, like the NES, the NES game. But it's called Classic Kong Complete. And I think there's another one just called Classic Kong. But it's frustrating. It's way more frustrating than the uh, NES one. I can I can get through at least like three or four loops on the NES. Well, thanks for shouting out Commander Gray Fox as well. Happy Thursday. Hope you're having a good day. We're playing a bunch of different uh, Donkey Kong themed games. Uh, I think it plays maybe a little bit more like the arcade one because it also has the arcade stages, but it doesn't really play like the NES one. <clears throat> All sorts of nuances with the NES one that are a bit different. Like with the NES one, for example, if you're climbing a ladder and your hand is on the is is one pixel exactly above the ledge that the ladder leads to, then you can actually kind of stay there with it with your hand at one pixel over the ledge. 
and a barrel will never come down. It'll 100% all the time uh, block a barrel from climbing down that ladder. You can't do that in this, but you can do that in the arcade game, and you can do that in the NES game. Hope you're having a better day today. You've been sick the last couple days, but you watched the last episode of Chucky, and they announced season four, so that made my day. Is there a Chucky TV show? I've definitely watched all the movies. No way. If that's a thing, I'm definitely interested. Batman Arkham Shadows only being on MetaQuest 3 ruined yesterday for you. Does that mean it's only in VR? Interesting. It takes place after all the movies. Very cool. I'll have to check that out. Those, those movies were terrifying for me as a kid, watching them, like the classic uh, Child's Play movies. That and uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, mainly because uh, I guess both of them, there's like a horror thing happening to a kid, like so when you're a kid you can relate, you're like, whoa, this is crazy. But uh, then re-watching them as I'm older, they're some of the cheesiest horror movies. Also, who isn't going to just kick Chucky down a hallway? You know what I mean? <laughs> just one quick lob and you're good. Huh? Damn. Arkham Shadows is only VR. Interesting. The third one's kind of... Oh, you're talking about uh, which ones? When you're saying the first two, are you talking about the Child's Play movies? Definitely interested in checking out the TV show, though. That's neat. I don't know if I remember the third one. So, so well in my head. I mean, it's pretty much Halloween every day, right? Halloween all year round. It gets too weird. There's one where they like uh, basically put Chucky through like a wood chipper. Like he's been completely obliterated. That might even be the first one. <laughs> but somehow it's like, no, oh, he's back. <laughs> when they bring him back in the sequel, it's like he's wearing like a Hawaiian shirt and shorts. And he's got his suitcases packed. And he's like, guys, I'm back from vacation. <laughs> I'm back from Cabo. Wait, what? Weren't you completely shredded? <laughs> Into tiny little pieces. All expenses paid. Great resort. I highly recommend it. Uh, <laughs> they don't address it. <laughs> Curse of Chucky and Cult of Chucky are good. If you want to watch the show, watch the movies in release order. You'll miss stuff if you don't. Cool, cool. We need a Godzilla TV show now. So you have to watch all the Godzilla movies, all 47 of them. <laughs> the Godzilla uh, animated series, anyone remember that? Same, same animation team that did the Men in Black animated series and Evolution animated series, if anyone remembers Evolution. Those have like a very distinct character design style. But that was a that's a show that is not rewatchable. It's an animated series based off of the Matthew Broderick Godzilla. It is awful. I just really don't have the uh, the jump arc down in this yet. We'll get there though. Got a few other games queued up for today as well. That 
That really pisses me off. Like, watch. I'm gonna save right there. I feel like our save states are getting, like, tossed to the side. Because I've saved, like, 20 times after starting this level. And for some reason, that save button just wants, wants to send, send us uh, back to the beginning. No! <laughs> <laughs> it is good. I'm just not used to... Um, I'm not used to the feel of it because it's it's definitely like more stiff than the NES one. Ooh. Yeah, the the jump the jump seems pretty close, but it feels a bit different. Pretty cool project. It's got good animations and UI. I'm pretty sure one person did it too. Just just one person put it together. At least it didn't toss away our save state. Normally I always try and go for the three items. resistance here. He jumped and grabbed her all in the same animation. That's pretty wild. Calm down, calm. And, and we're get, you're able to get one ups pretty easily in this as well, which is pretty, which is awesome. It's like finding quarters on the floor in the arcade. third of a three up one entire third of it That's a pretty cool animation because it kind of gives you that like wily e. coyote effect where he's still standing on the air before he falls adds a little looney tunes vibe to it okay now we're on is this loop three yep the third loop whoa shit what <laughs> i fully did not expect a diagonal throw <laughs> that was good Look at that. Get out of here. 
<laughs> I've never seen that in the original Donkey Kong. <sighs> I knew it. Oh, that was easy. You haven't been paying attention. Zombie. DK threw a barrel completely diagonally from the top up here all the way down to there. <laughs> he went from top left to bottom right, which I've never seen in OG Donkey Kong. Whoa. <clears throat> not a fan of using the hammer, but why not? Sometimes you gotta hammer a few eggs to make an omelet. Because it's a new loop, that's why. There's more of these oil fires.
Got it. No! <laughs> the little sound effect when you slip is pretty funny. It's a nice addition. This is going to be too tough. If they were making the enemies that frequent in the last the last loop, loop four is going to be crazy. Bananas even. Too. I just did turn the wrong way at the last minute. That was doable. That was doable. Oh damn, so is this. This is way, way better. This is wild. So, if anyone's heard of, uh, anyone here has heard of Movie to Movie, I tried yesterday, so it was really difficult. But Movie to Movie is a website where it's essentially like Wordle, and it gives you one film and another film, and you have to try and get there in the least amount of uh, degrees of separation by actor. So it's kind of like seven degrees of separation. Um, but you can sometimes get there in two. So it'll be like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and Oh, what's a good example? To uh, Final Destination. How about that? Final Destination 1. So you got Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Final Destination 1. So you have 
No, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I'll say. So you have Kurt Russell in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, who was also in Death Proof with Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who was also in Final Destination 3, who the main character, I can't think of the main actor's name, in Final Destination 3, he was also in Final Destination 1. So there's your connection. So that, that would be like four, just off the top of my head. But it's a cool website because it, it gives you the opportunity to practice. Uh, it's like a daily challenge thing like Wordle. And if you're a movie buff or you want to just try and get your, your knowledge of actors and actresses, it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. It's called Movie to Movie. <clears throat> there's a few fun ones out there. There's a Pokemon one, a Pokemon Sudoku. Where you can test your knowledge of all the different Pokemon. But movie to movie is the one that uh, pulled me in the most. So this is what we're going to do. Classic Kong complete. Pretty cool. We're not going to complete it. Absolutely not. We're going to play the next Donkey Kong game that I had queued up. So it's on the Game Boy Advance. Or we're going to... You know what? Is it on the Game Boy Advance? Yes, it is. We're going to play... Uh, it's a homebrew collection that someone put together... Uh, including a bunch of the Game Boy games and a whole bunch of other games uh, involving Donkey Kong. Um, but it just happens to be ported to Game Boy Advance. So it'll be GBA. Um, so we'll put some music on in the meantime and stick around. It won't be long. Switching to our GBA layout.
I'm going on the TV now. Huh? Yes, I'm going on the TV now. Yes, I'm going on the TV. on the TV. Oh. Yes, I'm going on my first gig. Yes, I'm going on my first gig. Yes, I'm going on the first My first gig. Uh, listen to me. La da 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 Okay, I think we're there. <laughs> I don't know why the transition is rough, but I think we're here. This is it. We'll just take a second. I think it's going to even itself out here now, now that I've closed Google Chrome. Zappa and Cherubi Mint. Yeah, I think we're here. <laughs> Zombie Paper says we're here. That was uh, just my computer having a time with Google Chrome for some reason. But this is Donkey Kong, or Donkey Kong 94, a lot of people will call it, um, with a fun little border. And, it, oh look, it's classic DK on the Game Boy, except you can do stuff like this. And flip out, literally flip. It's fun. Let me know if you need more audio. 
less audio. I can make it happen. Dango Rangus. <laughs> It's pretty normal, right? Bloop, flip, bloop, flip, bloop, flip, bloop. <clears throat> you need more stifuous. The figure of flows to you. Highest diff. I feel you. Look, <clears throat> it's the safety of the eggs. Yo, mighty collector, welcome in. Can we get a shout out for mighty collector? Best Donkey Kong game here. Heck yeah, such a fun game, and basically the great great grandfather to the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series. Or the Cranky Kong, if you will. <laughs> Dude, you gonna come down that ladder? We were playing some classic Kong Complete earlier, and now we're doing a little bit, a little bit of this. Playing it on the Game Boy Advance. It's actually not a Donkey Kong uh, Game Boy game collection. It's a Mario Game Boy game collection that somebody put together on the GBA. I think I want it. What do I do? What, what do I do? Roasted. Alright. You asked for it. That's right. You can do weird shit like that. Oh. Roasted. Yes. Finally. <clears throat> Can we beat the game? This isn't just a plop for plop remake. What? You can't give me more than four levels. 
I expect my brain to be able to handle that. Clunk. Basically, this is Mario versus Donkey Kong. And we got a 3-up. How oh, perfect. The Universe Alliance. A 3-up on 3-up. Uh, basically, whenever we get a 3-up moment, <clears throat> whether you get it through a bonus game or in any game, you just find 3 lives, you earn 3 lives in one specific level or from one stage. Drop that emote. And it looks like, hey, we're in the big city. Not New Donk City, but it could be. We could retcon that. Make this New Donk, New Donk City. And we literally have all the mechanics from Mario vs. Donkey Kong, if you haven't played the game. We've got trash cans. We have keys. You're still going for the same items. And you do want to go for the items every time. Excuse me, pardon me. Three bonus items. We had a sticker in our Discord, which was the three up, because you can actually get three lives in this, in this bonus game as well. Oh, absolutely, take it. Yes, please. existed here. That's why this game is just so cool, because they introduce so many inter interesting new things. Alright, let's do this again. I'll take it. Oh. You shall not alter the timeline. <laughs> one up and one up only. I mean, that is a fast way to get up there, but we can go this way, too. Whoa. <laughs> See? Did that save count? I hope so. Let's go this way. are messed up right now. I got one. Whoa. Get your little pig nose out of here. <clears throat> Pretty sure that was a dog with a pig nose. 
took the weird thing from The Shining. In that one room that caused everyone nightmares for years. <laughs> If I can explain what happened there. Didn't know you could do that. Two. Oh, shit. Everything's an insta kill to you. I don't know why it didn't save. I hate when it does that. It's very confusing too.
<laughs> what, are, what are these hammer tricks we're doing? I've never done this before in my life. All of a sudden, it's like we're some sort of sleeper agent. We know how to play this game all of a sudden. Something some something activated. One of one of the people in the chat. It's gotta be someone in the chat that activated this. Hidden Donkey Kong 94 skill. I saved it. Good. For some reason, the saving is just quite slow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That was a really tough level. Holy shit. This is my favorite song in the whole game, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That's exactly what I mean about eating save states. There's no way. There's no way that last save state didn't happen. Now I gotta beat this again. Holy crap. Hopefully the safe state worked.
Of course we're going to save, and also that's a lot of ups. That's way more than three. Okay, now we're into the forest. And with each um, world, they just introduce new mechanics, new switches, new... Just like the bridge was introduced, they introduce all sorts of new stuff. Which is pretty cool, actually. extra boost if you press down an A that's how you stand on your on your head and then you get an extra boost if you press down an A again and jump this way as opposed to just a jump that when that sound effect triggers that's like an a bigger jump basically You can play guitar if you want. Anyone can play guitar if they want. Cool. Where does this go? Oh, what? Oh, it's a spring. I didn't think that I was going to be able to do that. Holy crap. Alright, well, I just wanted to show the game off. Um, and I'm doing a shorter stream today, so this is, this is about a good time to, to call it. So I'm going to do this quick, get a little two up, say thanks to everyone for coming. Uh, thank you to all my mods. Thank you to all the regulars who show up. Uh, it'll be a shorter one, but on YouTube, it's kind of nice to have some shorter videos. We played some classic Kong Complete, a homebrew game someone built one, that one person built from the ground up, um, basically porting the arcade slash NES Donkey Kong onto the Super, the Super Nintendo, which is really cool. Um, and this is Donkey Kong on the Game Boy. If you haven't played it, definitely uh, give it a shot. I think you can play it on Nintendo Switch Online. Um, there's all sorts of cool uh, ways to play it, and uh, there's a lot, a lot of a lot of history here because there's, I think now what, five or six Mario vs. Donkey Kong games, including the brand new one that just came out uh, on the Switch, which is a remake. So yeah, this is a pretty cool one. Uh, you can actually see a lot of the DNA of those games in this. And we're gonna raid somebody. Again, a big thank you to Dango Rangus for the recent follow. Dr. Matt Zappa, Cherubi Mint, and Net Nerdy. Thank you so much. Who is online and what are they playing? Oh, 
perfect. Let's uh, let's raid V. They're playing Resident Evil Four. I believe the remake. Just make sure I typed it properly. But uh, anyone watching on YouTube, feel free to check out some of my other Donkey Kong themed streams because we have done a few of those. Um, some of my other classic retro Mario game streams, and just go through the playlist. I upload every single one of my streams there. Yesterday we were playing The Tick on Super Nintendo, which is a really bad beat em up. And we were playing Yoshi's Highland, a chaotic remake, or not remake, a chaotic ROM hack <laughs> of. Yoshi's Island, which uh, basically just messes everything up, uh, loads things and despawns things at, at random times, uh, introduces glitches at all the time. It's it's a pretty wild experience, but unfortunately our save data was fully erased, so we have to start from the very beginning and we were, near, we were at the very end. We were basically a couple of levels away from Baby Bowser.